creating a text spline. A text spline is a very unique shape. We can use it to cut different shapes with the letters cutting out of different materials. We could use it for neon lights, etc. We're going to go up to the command panel. We're going to go to our create tab. We're going to go to shapes and then the splines drop down. And in the splines we're going to go to text and then we get our, in our rollout down here we have a text in here and we're going to type in, in this case I'll type in neon and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type in light. So neon light. And now to get that to show up, we're going to click in the front viewport. And neon light shows up. And over here we have the size. So we can set the size. So if we're doing a big sign outside, uh, I'm going to say it's 8 foot. And Kerning is the distance in between letters, so I can say I want six inches. You see how it's spread out now. Uh, the leading is the distance between the two different rows of height of letters, so I can say that I want that to be one foot, and it's shifted down now. I can also pick my type of uh, font. I can go with Arial. Or I can go with Arial Italic, for example. And I can also go with Underlining if I wanted to. Since it's Italic right now, I can't make it Italic. But if I was Arial, I could go with Italic. I can also Justify it. Left Justified, Center Justified, Right Justified, etc. Distributed. So just like we would have like a Microsoft Word, for example. Now, what's kind of neat about this is we go up into our uh, rendering rollout. We hit the plus sign. And I can say, well, all right, we're going to enable this text to be in our rendering. Well, that's all right, but if I enable it in my viewport, it shows up as a 3D mesh. And now you can see its shape. Its shape is radial, so it looks like neon tubing right now. I could go to a rectangular neon which is not as typical as a neon light so I could go with the neon light here with the radial and set my thickness my sides and remember the number of sides the smoother it will be I can also set my auto smooth and so we can end up creating neon light signage in this manner or we could use this to cut out uh, various text into other materials so our text line um, oh, sorry, uh, I just added another piece of text in there by accident. Um, so our neon light is uh, showing here in the in the front view and in our perspective view. So once again, to get to the text, we're going to go up to create shapes, splines, and text.